Blazium is another Godot fork. Oh, well, in its official website, official X, GitHub, etc., there are no official releases. For example, I will go to the source code, I will go to official X, and here on the GitHub, okay, if I go to releases, there is none. If I go to its X or Twitter, there is no official release. However, there is still a way in which you can download completely, legitly, Blastium and start using it right now. And basically, thanks to this to this person who commented on my uh, Discord server, well, we started having a chat now and he explained me how you can uh, download uh, Blasium even though there is no such official release right now. So to do this, uh, you will have to go to the Blasium engine GitHub uh, profile and here find uh, Blasium. Okay, here we are inside of the Blasium repository and here in the branch, in the branch, okay, search for Blasium Dev, okay. Now, uh, right here, uh, press on this uh, check mark. Oh, well, here you're going to be finding all the different versions and stuff that you may need in order uh, to, to actually use this. You have uh, the Android version as well as the templates, uh, Linux, the Linux editor, macOS editor, Windows editor, web templates, etc. Well, basically here I was uh, talking uh, with him uh, about all this because well there are as you can see like a lot of versions like Windows template with GCC, Windows template, Windows editor with uh, this, Windows editor with Mono. So it, it, it was literally like confusing for me. So basically he told me that it would be the last one above Windows template. Um, so we have Windows templates over here. Uh, so I, would, I suppose that the standard version would be this one. So here you would click on uh, details, then summary, and here you should scroll down. Okay, and here you would actually find like all the actual versions that you can download. And um, I will download here Windows Editor Mono. Um, this should be still the standard version, but but well, it is named like this. Um, so when you press on that, if you wait a couple of seconds, this zip will start being a download. So here we have this and in this zip file, okay, I'm going to uh, extract it over here. And well, here we do find more things that we would find like in, in, in Godot. We find um, the two standard things, basically the editor and the console. And then we also have a C sharp support, supposedly, okay. Uh, I am not going to be talking about this. I, I just want to run the, the editor itself. So I'm going to double click over here and well, the editor will start. Uh, we have a, a rebranding, okay. Um, we have the new logo over here and also a new theme with some kind of purple violet color. Um, so I will go ahead and press create. Okay. And uh, also I would love to open up here Godot. I am in the latest uh, stable version, basically 4.3. Um, the stable version okay so i will remove this project over here i will uh, i will also uh, modify here the uh, settings just to make this a little bit bigger and here we are and now if i switch from one to the other as you can see it is mostly the exact same thing uh, just that um well the colors are changing and the logos okay um i will also uh, turn off here, off online mode, so that we should have the exact same stuff. Yes. So we'll go ahead inside of Blasium and create a brand new project. Once again, these windows are the exact same ones. Um, and I will put it in my case inside of my downloads. Now create a new folder. Let's call it Blasium project. And I will name this Blasium project. And then I will press create and edit. I will do something quite similar. I will go to my downloads and over here, go dot project, go dot project and create and edit. So there we have it. And well, this is actually, it seems that it is the mono version. Okay. It is not the, the standard version, but anyway, uh, they, they told me that, well, he told me actually that they are going to soon be releasing like an official version of it that you can download uh, more easily from the GitHub, from their official website. 
um, and probably they are going to have like an easier download to just have the standard, the mono version and anything much easier. Um, so once again here, everything is quite similar. The only change that we have between Blasium and Godot is just the fact that um, the, the colors are different. Uh, and well, uh, also what they have over here is a new option that is the horizon color. So this option in Godot, uh, it doesn't exist. We only have the sky and ground color, but well, they are in here this um, horizon color. So for example, I will just make it some kind of, uh, let's say a red color, okay? Just so that we can see a difference much more. Uh, and then, well, here we have the 2D editor, the script editor, and more stuff. So I will create a brand new 2D scene over here. You can see that the colors are quite good uh, right here. Um, by the way, you can always modify these colors in the editor settings theme. Oh, well, you have here these two colors that you can technically copy and paste in Godot and have the exact same interface as in Redot. And you can even use Godot here as the option. So you have literally the exact same thing as in Godot. Um, so it's something that maybe uh, is worth uh, knowing. Um, but anyway, I am going to add here a brand new script. Okay. And well, for example, here I'm going to zoom in. And well, actually here you are able to code anything that you want as if you were in code. It's okay, so we'll print here, uh, hey, we are on a Blasium. Okay. I will save this in and I will uh, run it. So let's give it just a second until everything is loaded. And we should see here in the output the, hey, we are on Blasium, okay? So indeed everything works as intended. And well, I believe that until right now, there aren't like super, super big changes. And um, they have still been implementing some stuff. They have been fixing some bugs, but they are quite specific. If there are new features besides this of the 3D environment, um, new horizon color, um, they are so specific that they are complicated to just showcase in one video. Um, but well, I, I wanted to show you how it uh, you can download it right now. You can start trying it uh, right now if you want, just to start uh, using it, okay? Uh, because it is another alternative uh, to the official Godot engine, and it's also another alternative, another fork that uh, you are able uh, to use if you really want to. So uh, in the past last days, in the past last weeks, I am uploading a lot of content related to Godot, Forks, Blasium, Redot, etc. I always try to uh, just show the facts, okay, and not give my opinion. I want to just be in the middle. I don't want to be on side A or B. I just want to inform you and help you when I come. So for that, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.